Hello and welcome to Mastering with FabFilter Plugins tutorial. My name is Svet and I am representing the Magic Tracks production. Mastering process is one of the most important and complicated processes in the music industry. There are many methods and different ways as well as people who support and reject them. In this tutorial you will learn how to do mastering with top quality plugins within my philosophy of mastering EDM music. I can bypass plugin and we will hear no difference in the volume, but there is difference in the dynamic of the sound. It's hard to hear it now, but after maximization you will notice it. The final step is to add gain for the high mid and high bands. It gives brightness to the mix and sounds better than one made with a cue. As you can see, we added a near 2.5 decibels after 2 kHz. After making dramatic change, you should always compare your mix with the reference track in this style. Maximization is the final and most important process in the mastering. The goal of maximization is to enhance the loudness of a track by reducing the dynamic range of an audio. Let's open FabFilter Pro L. The usage of oversampling mode is strongly recommended. Dither is intentional noise which is added when you downsample the bit depth to a lower resolution than the current format. We are going to use it when we export our 24-bit audio to 16-bit WAV file just for making an MP3 version which is 16-bit too. Ableton Live cannot export an MP3 directly. But if you plan to export 24-bit WAV file without bit depth change, just turn off the DITA function. If you plan to use DITA, it is a good idea to leave a headroom for it. In this case, set your output level to minus 0.1 dB. In this drop-down menu, you will find different limiting algorithms. I advise to play with it and choose which is the best for your audio and style. The look-ahead button helps to prevent distortion and artifacts but the higher the value is, the less loudness can be achieved. And maybe you will not be satisfied with attack of instruments in the mix. We do mastering for EDM track and we want to make it loud as other productions in this style. For this reason I prefer long attack time, which means more loudness, instead of small values, which means cleaner result. And on the contrary, using shorter release time are punchier and louder. Now we are ready to make the most dramatic change to apply maximization. For this we need free plugin called TT Dynamic Range Meter. While adjusting the gain slider, you should always look at the dynamic range indicator. I want to achieve RMS minus 4. Minus 3, minus 4 is normal for commercial EDM music. Let's compare with reference.
Yes, it's squashed and I can hear a little distorted sound. You should find the compromise between loudness, desired IMS level and distortion which is unwanted. I love listening on a low volume. It helps to find distortion and artifacts in the sound.